Hello my friends, hello courage of us. Welcome to Nanel and welcome to another exciting episode in our flyer design series. If you're new to my channel, I make courage real fun and easy to learn, right? So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating this flyer inside of CorelDRAW, just like you're seeing here. So if you're new to this channel, kindly make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss any content. And um, let's get into today's work of creating this flyer together, right? And um, if you've not gotten your templates, you can use the link, all these are flyer templates that you can use to ease up your designs. Now the link to get all these templates is in the description of this video. Of course, there are also Photoshop templates too. So, like I said before, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on post notification. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is I click on file and um, I'm going to set four by five inches, please. And this is why I impute the name of the flyer. So it's just going to be church flyer like this. And I'm going to click OK. Right. So I'm greeted with this interface. Double click on the rectangle to create and remove the outline. Set it to none. So I'm going to use this as a base color, right? Double click here on the pen buckets and click on color viewer. And um, of course, I'm going to make it darker by coming down. So having done that, the next thing I'm going to do here is um, very simple. I'm just go or going to use my text tool to type out this. So it's going to be in two faces, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And uh, this one is going to be the back. So it's Shabak like this. Okay, so I'm going to highlight all of them and I'm going to change the typeface. So this is what I'm using. So to get this, you can get it inside of um, the Smart Designer Premium Assets. If you've gotten yours already, good for you. If you've not, the link is in the description of this video, right? So with my shape too, I'm just going to make this adjustment and um, of course, select the two of them, increase the size like this. And um, good. So the next thing I'm going to do here is type out praise. Um, so it's just going to be praise concert like this. And of course, yeah, I'm going to put this here like this and um, select this and bring this down here like this i'm going to draw a rectangle around this and give it a color right remove the outline control page down to send it to the back of the text Duplicate this, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, extend this here and also bring this down, Ctrl page down again. But before then, change the color, Ctrl page down. Yeah, yeah, okay, to send this behind. Okay, good. So it's done that way. So make this smaller so that it doesn't exceed the frame of the rectangle. Okay. And, um, uh, Of course, close down the spaces between the letters by using your shape tool. Of course, you can also make it bolder. That's fine. That's good. Reduce this one here. So it gives this um, 3D kind of effect, right? not the overlapping effects so something like this is good select this make it bigger like this and um, you're left with this um this one is inside of your smart designer premium assets so when you open your smart designer premium assets this is what you have so one of the backgrounds i'm going to be using is inside so you can have 
different from the background so i'm just going to open this red background here like this right so inside the red background i'm going to select one of these backgrounds and that's what i'm going to be using for this and i'm going to click on transparency set select um, i'm setting this to screen and i'm clicking on the first one like this right you can make it bigger like this you can zoom in to see what you're doing in real time and um, of course increase the transparency to fade it more so i'm going to click on power clip and select the rectangle to power clip it inside so i'm just going to drag it and um, position this well here inside so you have it just like this when you're done with everything click finish or click out holding down control so select all of them and uh, bring this up a little bit like this so what you want to do here is create a rectangle here give it a white color remove the outline always and um, go over to resource file where you have this um, drag this in here like this um, you want to rotate this extend this and make it smaller somewhere around here this is okay this is good Now select um, what you're going to do now, you need to pay attention to this. So what you should do here is uh, make sure this rectangle is up above. Now selecting the rectangle, make sure you convert it to curve first. Right, Control Q to convert this to curve. If you don't convert it to curve, you're not going to be able to do this. So select this part here to curve again and uh, make sure you are following the parts of the piano. Yeah, right so this comes down here and um, this down part to the same thing apply the same thing to this and um, cool right so copy and paste it inside of the power clips item here you can see it's already inside then you want to copy this too and uh, paste it inside here too. So let's make our adjustments inside of the power clip content. So what you want to do is uh, move this downwards and also move the rectangle downwards by modifying it using your shape too, like this and like this also move this one downward a bit and uh, click on finish when you're done to get this okay so um, a little bit of adjustment click on edit uh, make sure you group the two of them ctrl G to group them and uh, you can place this one somewhere here right and of course don't forget to make it smaller Rotate this, this should be like this, or this should be this way. Okay, click finish when you're done. Okay, so this is exactly how I want it to be. Okay, so um, right about now, let's move on to the next thing. So move this downward a bit. We just move it down so that you have space for your elements to breathe properly so with this i'm just going to type a couple of things like the dates and um, of course all of the things that would be done in the program right everything goes here and um, you can modify this and i'm just going to leave mine like this 
Okay, so uh, that's out of the way. So I'm still going to... Um, I'm going to bring in this image. You can get this image in the resource file. So this would be part of the resource file, right? So what you should do here is apply this like this and um, reduce this while you increase this, right? So you're going from black to white. That's just the logic. Make it smaller, make it smaller, copy it, double click on the rectangle and paste it here. So you want to make sure that it's behind the piano. So shift page down to take it behind the piano, right? So when you are done, this is what you're left with, right? So you can see that you have a nice blend of lights and everything going on here. So. The next thing you want to do is um, select this and uh, convert to curve, then weld it and um, click on shadow. And uh, we're going to apply shadow, but before then, make sure you're selecting a uh, small glow like this. Of course, modify it here. First of all, uh, first thing you need to do is click on this. And of course, we need to change the color. So how do you do that? Select this color, the darker color, very dark. And uh, make sure you reduce the feather like this. And also reduce the opacity like this. So it's not too much. And you can now further modify this by manually dragging it down. And of course, reducing transparency. Okay, so uh, now um, to add some extra effect to this, um, let me move this downward a bit so I can have space. Okay, so what you want to do is select the entire image. You can move it outside like this, Ctrl C, Ctrl V to make a duplicate copy of this. Then you can go to bitmap, uh, convert to bitmap and click OK to add some extra effects. Now the effect you're going to be adding to this is noise. So go to noise and click on add noise, right? So uh, you can see that I'm adding noise. I'm increasing the density. The level is set to 97. So when I zoom in, this is the difference. So most times you want to be creative with all of these things and just make sure your flyers are not one way and they are boring and it's like what everybody else is designing. So you can click on this and click on export to get this. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, drop your comments. If you have any questions, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.